Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a little Trader Joe's haul. Thank you so much for coming and watching this video. So, without further ado, let's get started with some frozen items. So we got this. I don't know the points on it, but I'll just track it when it happens. I guess this is not fun to show you all the raw meats <laughs> that I got, but um, I got this Pollo Esada uh, Authentico, but we'll see. Um, it's just thinly sliced chicken breast for Pollo Esada, seasoned with an authentic recipe. So let's try that. I, that's the one thing I really didn't even think about, but I wanna try it. Uh, just some chicken breast. Some ground beef just whenever we need it uh, these are the steaks i got for jd if he doesn't want both in that one night well he can this is like divided so we could easily do that one night and then another night some more chicken breast and that's all the meats that you have to see uh next i love this i've loved this forever so i got this for me I'll take for lunch one day. I got this for JD. Never actually tried this version, but I got it for him. I got these for me. I think they're five points. They're pretty delicious. And I got these for JD to try. Philly cheesesteak bowel buns. He loves anything that's Philly cheesesteak, so that's why I got that. Uh, some strawberries for some more smoothies. I always run out of strawberries first. I have a million mixed fruit, but strawberries that's it for the freezer but i got a lot of fresh produce that i'm gonna probably roast up this morning so that i can add it to any dinner i'm having or any breakfast or lunch um and i'm really excited to have a lot of fresh vegetables it's wild that that's something like i am excited to eat now that i that's changed so i got some asparagus these asparagus are very skinny which no shame, but the thick asparagus is not as good. You want to get thin asparagus. If, if it's thick, like those big, I will not buy it. No big deal. Next, I got some zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, 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 <laughs> zigzag butternut squash. I'm going to roast that up. That's actually really good with ketchup. I'm going to do it in the air fryer. Next, I got a big hunk of cauliflower. That I'm gonna do buffalo cauliflower, and this is a lot, so I might even be able to make enough to have for lunch the next day. Oh, buffalo cauliflower. A long time ago, my friend Mallory and I went to Alma Draft House and I tried her buffalo cauliflower and I fell in love and I've been trying to make it ever since. Whitney Simmons posted a TikTok video. Well, I don't have TikTok. She posted a YouTube video about TikToks and she did a buffalo cauliflower recipe so good i had it just a couple weeks ago and so that is what i'm going to be making with this and i'll link that video because it's actually delicious next i got two red peppers my boss made some the other day and i added to my eggs one morning and these are delicious so i'm gonna roast those up as well maybe not roast i'm gonna pan fry some broccoli for our broccoli cheese rice two yellow onions oh that's what i'm making red beans and rice with turkey uh kielbasa so i needed onions and i needed peppers as well so one of those peppers will be for red beans and rice so stoked and last but not least vegetable wise i got two big big old sweet potatoes next for some dairy i got some greek yogurt this is good for quite a while this is zero and i'll use it to make skinny dough which we can use for a million things. We probably have enough stuff to do pizza another night. We got cheeses, some for me, some for JD. I'm saving this cheese for the classic combo. I got some nutritional yeast. I've wanted to try this so bad and I tried to order some from Thrive, but I didn't have any. I, I'm really curious about it because if I could, uh, dairy sometimes still affects my stomach. So if I could, replace some of my dairy with this. I would be very excited about it. Basically, it's like, um, it has a cheesy flavor, apparently. I don't know. Next, some more minced garlic. I'm pretty much out of that. That was not on the list, but it's been in my mind to buy. Chili onion crunch. I 
don't need it in olive oil with dried garlic and peppers. I cannot freaking wait to try this. I've seen it all over Instagram, maybe with some eggs. I I just I was simply excited. Ah, just a can of refried black beans. Some dates. Um, one of my, well, my favorite YouTuber, she will split these in half and put a little peanut butter and then some melted like Lily's dark chocolate, unsweetened dark chocolate. She says it tastes like a Snickers. It does not taste like a Snickers to me, but it is a delicious treat, like a treat snack. Next, some eggs. I probably have eggs almost every day. Probably every day. Oh. Um, some pitas. These were three points for half or five points for a full. Surprisingly, the wheat one was higher in points. I don't know. Maybe that's still, I don't know. It doesn't matter. But um, I'm not actually going to put those in the freezer because I don't eat bread fast enough before it to go to bad. So I'm going to pull out one or two and put it in the fridge for when I want it the next week. And then I'll put the rest in the freezer and eat them as I can. Uh, I got this for us just to do spaghetti one night. Black beans. Another refried black. Oh, uh, they're just, I thought they were fat. I thought they were black beans, whatever. Refried black beans, I don't know. Some turkey chili, I didn't know they had that. This was not on my list, but I like this with hot dogs. I love that everything has turkey now because I don't eat beef or pork. So everything, there's so many turkey. Next, some of, I call these JD's tomatoes. Um, Action Bronson has a cookbook. And in Action Bronson's cookbook, he tells you how to make a homemade like red sauce. And he says, these are the tomatoes to use. We've used other tomatoes, but these are the ones that he like really likes. Next, I'll call this the Cambria combo. Yo, these two together, match made in heaven. I could eat this every day, but I won't. But I never finish the cheese on time before it goes bad. Anyways, I'm gonna try to. Uh, just make sure you put this in like a like a Ziploc bag or something where there's no air because that'll keep it longer. This together, so, so good. Do it, do it, do it. <sighs> My boss had these at her house and I had one and they're delicious. They're actually like, I can have like three for a point, I think. So this is perfect for me because they're little baby Reese's. It's perfect for me because I don't usually like want a whole piece of cake. I just like want a little taste of something. So this is perfect. Next, some olives. I'll have it with some cheese and some crackers. Another thing that Miss Remy Ashton uh, has is little gluten-free crisp breads. Basically, she does avocado toast. I can't eat avocado. I can't eat avocado because it makes me sick. Not for any other reason. But uh, you can use this in place of like a, I don't, like a, almost like a bagel thin, like put a little cream cheese on it or one of my laughing cow cheeses, uh, maybe like a tomato if you have it. I'm really excited to try these. I don't know how long they are good for though, which is not good for me because I usually don't finish things in time. And last but not least, I've been wanting to try turkey jerky for some time since I started eating turkey again. And Chomps is a brand, another YouTuber I watch talks about Chomps, but they have a zero sugar and they have a turkey one. But I decided to get some for JD too because he'll just have that as a snack. Those are beef. Slim Jim, Turkey Slim Jim. But yeah, I had a great time. I went right when they opened at 9 a.m. Eight to nine, they have a senior hour, which I think is brilliant right now. But I got there like five minutes before and I was waiting in line. I went in, there were barely any people. I got in and out in 20 minutes. I got went in at nine, I walked out at 9.21. So I would definitely recommend that, especially if you get store anxiety. Like I do right now, especially. Oh, if you try anything that I posted today, and let me know. And if there's any other Trader Joe's things that you're just like obsessed with, also let me know because uh, I'll be thinking of a list for about two months before I go to Trader Joe's specifically again. 
Thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you have a great day and an even better week. Bye! Oh crud.